So INFM is sponsoring uh, the Bruno Tuschek Prize uh, with uh, ISNAF uh, because, um, well, of several reasons. One of them is our international DNA. We collaborate uh, with institutions all uh, around the world. We do experiments in the laboratories in many parts of the world. And in particular, we have a very structured collaboration with uh, institutions in the USA. So we have Fermilab, we do experiments at Brookhaven, at Jefferson Lab, we've done experiments at um, Slack. And so for us it is natural to, uh, part, to make a partnership with an institution that uh, basically sponsors uh, Italian scholars in the US, in North America and in particular in the US. So we see this as an opportunity to uh, interact with these people that have chosen to, left Ita to leave Italy uh, who make their career here at the beginning and uh, also to show them what we do in Italy and to maybe give them motivations to, uh, to consider at least the returning to Italy. Main highlights is that uh, from what uh, the committee explained there were three extremely brilliant uh, uh, physicists with uh, very nice projects. I must admit that uh, if I had been in the panel I also would have found it difficult to choose. Uh, between the three. They cover different aspects of the activities of INFN, cosmology, uh, particle physics and applications, and uh, all three which are part of the core mission of INFN. And uh, what I find also interesting is that uh, all of three of them also offer potential bridges with uh, Italian institutions and uh, INFN institutes. So I, this I would consider as the three main considerations which I would do about uh, the finalists of this year. Well, I will remember uh, two things. First of all, the atmosphere. Uh, it was very nice to meet these young people and also to meet people from the other institutions, the other sponsors of ISNA. And um, also what I will remember certainly is uh, the discussion about the neurodegenerative diseases. The panel discussion was really, really very well done. Uh, it was on a level uh, which never lacked scientific rigor, but which was accessible also to us non-medical uh, scientists. And uh, it was very lively. And also it, uh, it is nice to see that so many young people <laughs> begin to study uh, ailments which afflict the old. So,